I don't think I want everybody at the theater. I want as many people as possible, but I don't think I want everybody. And so, you know, when we have a successful show, we remount it, remount it, and we try and exhaust it. And you and I have been in many shows where mm -hmm. we just mounted and remounted and, in a sense, tried to exhaust the audience for that show because, in a sense, as a producer all my time, and that's where you go here, have been trying to say, okay, let's maximize the audience for this. Let's keep bringing it back until um, uh, we've, s as many people in the city of Toronto or in the country for tour it, you've seen the show and um, exhausted the audience for that particular show and production. Um, that, you know, it's, mu it's as much a production as it is the play. But in terms of maximizing yeah. the audience, wasn't there a thought 20 years ago that if you got a very good and interesting show in a 200 speed s seat space and it ran for five or six weeks, you then try to move it to a mid-sized space to maximize mm -hmm. the audience. But you don't do that. You bring it back to the small space. Because we really, really don't have a mid-size. We don't have what they have in the West End where the Royal Court has the Duke of York, for example. Right? Right. Um, we just don't have, mm, one, an audience base to do that. Uh, you know, you can't compare the London's population of 16 right. million to <coughs> 2.3, right? I mean, you, everything's always, um, and to me, there's always a kind of relationship that way. you got 16 million people. You can do three weeks of a Sarah Kane play in upstairs of the Royal Court in a 100-seat theater. But that's three weeks of 100 seats mm -hmm. a night, and they do it for three weeks, and it's highly successful and touted in the press, and... And everybody hears about Sarah Kane, but it's three weeks or four weeks, right? Um, because they can, they have a population of 16 million. I can't do Sarah Kane for six weeks here at the Tarragon. I, it's part of, oh, part of a little of my regrets of the producing circumstances here and the, the what I inherited and where, where it can go forward and how we try and push it against it in various different ways uh, each year. But in the end, I've got to sell six weeks of 200 people, and a Sarah Kane play doesn't, in Toronto doesn't have that large an audience. It can be done, as Brendan Healy did at Buddies and Bad Times, and you know, he had 30, 40, 50 people, and they did it for two weeks or three weeks. Maybe they extended. They were sold out. But you know, it's the same ethic we used when we did Tamara. It was like, we were sold out. 50 people a night. <laughs> you know, we were sold out. We're extending <laughs> you know, at 50 people right, a night. Right. Meanwhile, you know, uh, the Royal Alexander, it's like, you know, they, it took us three weeks to get as many people they have in one night. 